Hey everybody, Ann here, and today I'm going to show you how I make river clam soup. The other day when I was hunting around in the river for some water to use for my new water filter, I found these little guys. I did some research, and it turns out they are freshwater clams. Yes, you can eat them, and they're delicious. So I decided to make some clam chowder with them. Here we go. They're alive. Check that out. They're moving. They're bubbling. They were like way down in the cup, and the water was covering them, but look at them now. It's like their insides are coming out. Look at it. It's like a little tongue. Oh my God. What's it going to do if I touch it? Let's see. It goes away. All right. I collected a whole bunch of these and I found out what these are. They're just river clams, freshwater clams. And everything I've read says that if you find them in abundance, that usually means you've got good water. So I'm going to give these a try. Oops. See, they're still moving. They're alive. They're alive. I'm going to see if I can boil these up and figure out, I don't know, maybe eat them, make some clam chowder like I said. Who knows? Hey, I've got my river clams all nice and cleaned up. I am going to drain this water because I just want to make sure when they go in they're really clean. I put my water on to boil and uh, then I'm going to add some salt and some lemon juice and just kind of get them to boil and I guess they're done when they open up. So let me get them strained and then I'll pour them in. Okay, got them boiling really good and basically the meat just comes right out of these shells. The shells pop open and most of the meat was out floating. So don't be afraid to do this because you think it's going to be too much work to get the meat out. It isn't. It comes out and the ones that were still in the clams were just easy to pick out. It was a very, very simple process. Okay, now here they're all in the cup and I'm going to just rinse them off again really, really well. Kind of slosh them around in there a little bit. And I'm going to drain it before I put them back into the pan or put them into the pan. And there we go. Just toss them in there. Quite a few. Add some water. Quite a bit of water actually because you know what I'm gonna let this cook for a really long time and I can always thicken it up later. I'm gonna add a couple potatoes and yes I absolutely am going to take the peels off of those. Very good. Stir, stir. Easy peasy. Yep, add a little pepper. And I am going to add some salt, but check this out. I've got like practically no salt left. Stir it up, stir it up. It's very easy. I've got this kind of like a medium low heat. And because I don't have a lot of salt and I'm afraid it won't have much flavor, I am going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. I also had two mushrooms and a half a green pepper, so I chopped those up and put them in to the pot as well. Just stir it up, stir it up. It's looking good. It's already looking good. Let me give it a little taste of the broth and just see. See what it tastes like. I don't know, guys. I hope it's good. That's actually pretty good. All right, I decided to go ahead and thicken it up a little bit with some milk and some cornstarch. So I'll just pour that in and stir it up right away. Stir it up real good, try and get all the lumps out. And then just pour it in. I usually stir while I'm pouring, but I had to film at the same time, so I didn't do it that time. There we go. That's already starting to thicken up really, really nicely. Look at that. That's perfect. That is so perfect. It is beginning to look like a clam chowder. Looks good. Smells pretty good too. I did another taste test and it still needed some flavor. So I added a little bit more pepper and some more Parmesan sprinkle cheese. Hopefully that'll kind of bring the flavor up. I didn't have enough salt. That's just basically what the whole deal was with that. Stir it up and let it cook for a little bit longer. And it's thickening it up really, really nicely. So I'm gonna be interested to see what this tastes like. 
Okay, here it is <laughs> on my little bucket stool. Doesn't look like much, but let's taste it. I'm going to get a little bit of each thing in there. See, that is the that's the clam meat, shaped like a clam. Let's get uh, a mushroom, green peppers, all in one bite, and see what it tastes like. Hmm. Okay, the consistency is perfect. You can really, the flavor of the clams really comes through. It tastes like, it's fresh water, but you know what? It tastes like clams from the sea, really. Um, <clears throat> the clams are just like any clam you've tasted. They are kind of a, mm, I don't know how to describe the consistency. Just like any clam. Perfectly normal. Um, it is, it's got a lot of flavor. The potatoes are perfect. The clams are very tasty. Green peppers are okay in it. But here's the thing. It needs more salt. Oops. I needed more salt. Um, because they don't have the salt from the sea. <laughs> and, uh... If I just had maybe a half a teaspoon more salt, it would be great. It would be really good chowder. Right now, it's just okay chowder. So, I'm going to take one more bite. And I let this cook for a really long time, too. So, yeah, I think this is a success. I will definitely make it again if I come here to this river again. And um, next time, bring more salt. And uh, next time, I think I'm going to try it without the canned soup um, to see if I can just make it, you know, have the right flavor without the cream of mushroom soup. Just have the milk and whatnot. So, yeah, you guys, I got a free meal. Mmm. It tastes like regular clam chowder, but it just needs a little more salt. So, yeah, thumbs up. This soup made a very satisfying, comforting, filling meal. The only thing that was missing was a little bit of salt, and I will add more the next time, so I'm looking forward to making this again. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.